So before we define what escape velocity is and before we calculate it, let's look at the following situation. Let's suppose we have the Earth and we have a spaceship with mass m that begins at location 1, a distance of r1 from the center of the Earth. And let's suppose our spaceship wants to travel along the following dashed pathway to location number 2, position 2, a distance of r2 from the center of the Earth. Now, note that at any given time along the pathway, the spaceship will feel a force due to gravity, shown with the purple FG force, that will point towards the center of that Earth. So that means in order for the spaceship to travel from position 1 to position 2, it needs to exert a force that has the same exact magnitude as this force, but points in the opposite direction shown with the green force here. So that means, once again, our spaceship needs to do work against the force of gravity as it travels from 1 to 2. These two forces, if you sum them up, they must equal zero so that our object will not be pulled towards the surface of the Earth. So we want to calculate how much work is required to move the object, our spaceship, from position 1 to position 2 along the following pathway. Now, note our force of gravity is not constant. It depends on the inverse of the square of the distance between the spaceship and the center of the Earth. So that means we need to integrate the dot product of the force and displacement from position 1 to position 2. So the work done by the object when we go from position 1 to position 2 is equal to the integral from 1 to 2 of the dot product. Now notice this green force is the same thing as the negative of this purple force. And that's exactly what we do here. So we simply plug in negative purple F, the gravitational force, into our green force. Now recall the law of universal gravitation gives us an equation of formula for the gravitational force. G times mass of the object times mass of the Earth divided by the square of the distance between our two objects. And that's exactly what we write here. So now if we integrate this function, we get the following value. Notice the integral of 1 over r2 is 1 over r times negative 1. So this negative becomes positive, which is exactly what we have. Now let's actually evaluate and we get the following equation. So if we want to find the work done by the spaceship against the force of gravity, we have to use the following equation. So, recall that by definition, the change in our gravitational potential energy of the object is equal to the negative work done by the object against the force of gravity. So that means the change in gravitational potential energy is equal to negative of this whole formula and we get the following equation. Now notice this is the formula for the change in gravitational potential. If we simply want to find the gravitational potential with respect to our distance r, we use the following formula. So negative our gravitational constant times m times me divided by r, where r is our displacement, our distance, m is the mass of the object, me is the mass of the earth, plus this is simply our constant, any constant. So we can choose this constant to be zero. And if that constant it cho is chosen to be zero, then we simply have the following formula. So if we plot this formula, we get the following result, where this dashed line is simply our asymptote that refers to r as the radius of the Earth. So at this point, it's the radius of the Earth. So our x-axis is the radius or displacement, and this is our uh, gravitational potential energy. So this blue curve is simply this equation. So this curve, and notice, as the distance between our two objects begins to decrease, our gravitational potential energy begins to increase in the negative direction. So as we approach the Earth, the gravitational potential energy becomes more negative. So now let's actually discuss escape velocity. So let's recall the conservation of energy. 
So the conservation of energy states that our initial sum of all the energies is equal to the final sum of all the energies. So initial uh, kinetic energy plus initial gravitational potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy plus final gravitational potential energy. So this initial kinetic energy is written as one half mvi squared, where vi is our initial velocity. Our initial gravitational potential energy is written with the following formula. So negative gmme divided by our initial distance ri is equal to the same exact formula, but with our final velocity and final distance rf. So what exactly is escape velocity? Well, escape velocity is simply the minimum velocity required to project any object into space so that it never returns again. So escape velocity allows our object to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth. So in order to find escape velocity, we have to use this formula. And we have to note that the final velocity of our escape object will be zero and a final velocity of, or actually the final distance of our object is assumed to be infinity. It's infinitely far away. So that means if this is infinity, this term becomes zero. And if this is zero, this term becomes zero. So we get the following equation. 1 half m v initial, our v escape velocity squared minus g m m e divided by r e, our radius of the earth, because our object begins on the surface of the earth. And this is equal to 0 joules minus 0 joules. So that means if we bring this to the right side and solve for the escape velocity, we get the following formula. So the escape velocity of any object is equal to the square root of 2 times the mass of the Earth times the gravitational constant g divided by our radius of the Earth. So these values are all constants. If we plug them in and plug that into the calculator, we get the following velocity. 1.12 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. So if our object has this velocity and begins at the center of the Earth, and as long as we neglect any type of drag force or resistance, our object will be able to escape into space, it will be able to escape the force of gravity, and it will never return to Earth again.